welcome to the show. Here we are in the kitchen with Paul Stanley. You know him from Kiss. We know him now as a chef. You know, trying to follow on Fabio's heels, that's, <laughs> that's, his charisma and his food is, is, is tough to match. Did you have a diff, like when you were much younger in your career, was it just sort of garbage in because you guys were on the road? Or did you always watch what you ate? Were you always a... I watched it as like, I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> not much, not, not no. much beyond that. When did the refined palate come to you then? I think over the years, you know, one thing that I, I love about Europeans is that they don't see food as just fuel to stuff in their faces there's yeah. an experience of eating so yeah. I you know um, when you start mixing great ingredients you can't you can't go wrong yeah, yeah. I was getting the I was getting, getting the, the eye from me because yeah. that's you know, the stink her, yeah. eye because I feel the same way it's like sitting down with your family and food and eating is just such a passionate wonderful thing to do with family and friends and Mark just eats to li to live. I live to oh, eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Doesn't make me I'm wrong. I'm changing. No, it just does, makes no, me different. <laughs> makes you different, but we're slowly we're changing all that because you're beginning to really really appreciate all. This no, food. I'm I haven't perfected my Brussels sprouts yet, yeah. Yeah. but I uh, later oh, no. in life I came to really love them, so I'm dying to try yeah. these. Brussels so, sprouts can be great. Yeah, yeah, this is a this is your recipe. This is a recipe I made up, and uh, uh, it was a way of getting my my son to love Brussels sprouts <laughs> as much as I do, and yeah. it's it's. Fairly simple. You just mix a lot of great ingredients. Um, got olive oil here. Put a little in your pan. In there. And you want to throw in your prosciutto. Mm, I love prosciutto. Can't go wrong with prosciutto. No. no. Can't go wrong with bacon. Can't go wrong with prosciutto. Mm -hmm. So, what is the difference? Do you need a? Between, uh, you need a little here. prosciutto and. What is the difference between bacon and prosciutto? It's basically the same. But it's it's just cured differently. It's, yeah. just, it's smokier. Bacon is right. smokier, and the prosciutto then. is just less salty. Ah, yes, okay. please bring it in. Please yes, please bring it, please bring it in. You marinated oh. chicken yeah, with try this. Oh. sprouts. Oh. So after, now you put the prosciutto. I win. Do you make it? I win. I like, I like it to get a little bit browned, and for to save some time, I might just put it on the side here. Usually I take it out, put it back mm. into a bowl, then... And I, my, did you clean the Brussels sprouts and cut them I in half and blanch them? I cut them in half and I usually steam them or put them in a microwave with some water. And I don't know about you, but I like my Salt Brussels sprouts really brown, yeah, almost yeah. to a point of being yeah. burnt. Yeah, I make them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like once, the crispy. Yeah, really crispy. And once mm -hmm. once your your Brussels sprouts are nice and crispy, mm -hmm. you put your prosciutto back in. And then after that, you may want to add a little bit more. Olive oil, because you can't go wrong with olive oil. Mm -hmm. Right. Cherry. Oh, I can tell you, this oh. is right. so good. Do you, yeah, this, this is, is so, so sweet so and the Yeah, mm, so you get so that sweet mm. and savory. Mm. Do you and your wife cook together when you're Yes. I, lo I love cooking with my wife. So you add your cherries. Now, these are dried cherries, right? These are dried, dried cherries. Dried and pitted cherries. And they'll plump up over time yeah. mm -hmm. once you're cooking with them. Then, once... You know, you just keep tasting it. There, there's no secret for me to cooking. If it tastes good, it, mm -hmm. it's the right proportion. Yeah, exactly. so, oh, now that balsamic vinegar looks like chocolate syrup. You know, That's good balsamic vinegar can be put on ice cream. I know. So, um, yeah. it's, it's a reduction. Yeah. I love it. And sometimes if you, you if you go to your supermarket and you buy some cheesy balsamic vinegar, it's pretty much inedible. So you're going to add your balsamic vinegar, then you're going to add Parmesan Reggiano. Mm. Mm. That looks so good. Then you're gonna mix that together and it gets a great great color. And then mm. there's your finished uh, over and there, it's nice and clean. There it is, finished. Mm. Look at that, look at this. And we would take mm. this, we put it into a bowl, mm -hmm. then you would take it, put a little bit more Parmesan Cheese. Reggiano, then lemon zest. Oh. That looks mm. beautiful. That looks great for Thanksgiving this so year. You created yeah. this. Yes. How tr how much trial and error? Like when did you go? You know what? It needs some zest. Well, it. the the trial and error was just you keep tasting it, and when it tastes good, then, then you stop. Then you stop. <laughs> you don't want to go beyond that point. So. You know, you, know, you, can, you can eat Brussels sprouts many different ways because Brussels sprouts, you can bake them, you can shred them, you can mm -hmm. saute them, but having, doing this is just an added, you said you wanted your children to really enjoy it and love yeah, it as and much as you do. Yeah, and also to diversify their palate a little. Yeah, you know, and, uh, so they like. I mean, my kids love prosciutto and they love, uh, you know, all, all these cured meats, so. Now, um, I'm going to be making your marinade here, Paul. What, what you have is uh, rosemary and some capers and mustard, Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard, 
Gar white wine, garlic. Okay, and, uh, and you pepper? can't go wrong. We grow rosemary at our house. We grow all our vegetables. We do too. We have a garden out in the back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then then we're gonna we're gonna just okay. Hang on. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Where's Fabio when you need yeah. it? <laughs> okay, there we go. And, uh, okay. Okay. There we go. Whoops. Uh huh. No. Uh -huh. No, I think okay. the other way. Lock. Try okay. the other way. While you're doing that, I'm going to mention to everyone that you're going to put it in a plastic bag yes. and marinate it. Now, do you do it overnight? You can. The longer you marinate it, the better it's going to be. All right. So. so then okay. we <laughs> yes, we can wait. If this was this working, is if Bobby was I am, here, right. I am determined now to do this. Okay, let's. <laughs> this is right. Somebody go get Fabio. Yeah. You know, I Stop need his the car. shoes. We have to put your shoes on, Paul. We got to get. Ailey, <laughs> where's Ailey? <laughs> this is making me crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, hi. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And See, then it's not plugged in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, they're doing that. There we go. Wow. All right, then we're going to put it in a nice hot skillet and we're going to saute it till it gets. Saute it and you can put it in the oven. I sometimes make a, a whole lot of this marinade and use it as a sauce. So I'll, I'll take a pan. Cover the chicken with it, put it in about an inch deep, Ooh. and just use that as my sauce afterwards. Could so, you use it on swordfish, oh, and shrimp, I it, yeah, and I lamb? It on, I put it on pasta. Let's so, see. as a side oh. dish, I'll have pasta. Okay. Do you ever cook uh, for the guys in the band? Like, do you guys all get together? Yes. I, make, uh, make some, I make some pretty good food. So look, there. Uh, look at that, huh? Rock and Roll All Night brings you interviews, reviews, concerts, music, and more. So for more Rock and Roll All Night content, click subscribe.